Arizona GOP goes to court to defend Trump's right to run Howard Fisher Phoenix, the Arizona Republican Party wants to defend Donald Trump's right to be on the ballot in the state's 2024 presidential preference election despite another candidate's claims he is disqualified. The state GOP says it needs to intervene because it cannot rely on Democratic Secretary of State Adrian Fontes, who is defending Trump's right to run, to do so as forcefully as possible. The dispute playing out in federal court stems from a filing last month by Texas resident John Anthony Castro, who is registered with the Federal Elections Commission as a Republican candidate for president. He claims Trump is disqualified from running because he provided aid and comfort to an insurrection that mirrors language in the 14th Amendment, adopted after the Civil War. It bars the election to certain federal offices, including president, of anyone who has engaged in insurrection or rebellion, or given aid or comfort to the enemies thereof. People are also reading. Tucson's Park Place Mall sold for $87 million in foreclosure auction drive through lobster? Yep, and it's coming to Tucson a guide to all 57 food vendors at this year's Tucson. Meet Yourself Festival Arizona Regulators Mull Controversial Changes to Rooftop Solar Policy Tim Steller's Column Trees Come Down as Tucson's Unhoused Population Rises 64 Festivals and Markets in Tucson This Fall and Winter 2023 Five Star Edge Rusher Tucson and Elijah Rushing decommits from Arizona Football Soup Kitchen buys South Tucson Motel for $3 million for affordable housing solar eclipse coming Saturday, but Tucson won't fall into burning ring of fire drive through lobster? Yep, and it's coming to Tucson Sportsman's Warehouse is expanding in Tucson with a new store gunman, police dog shot at Tucson Park High School football. Big school rankings The big story heading into week 8 Tucson Action 100 fun events happening in Tucson this October 2023 Ghost Orange Heart Michael Lev. 5 Takeaways from Arizona's 43-41 Triple Overtime Loss to No. 9 USC Castro Wants U.S. District Court Judge Douglas Reyes to order phone tests to keep Trump's name off the ballot for Arizona's March 19, 2024 presidential preference primary. Phone test role phone test has said he has no legal right to keep the former president off the ballot. He pointed to a provision of Arizona law that says any candidate who files the requisite 500 signatures is entitled to be included on the ballot here if they also qualify for the ballot in at least two other states. The Arizona Attorney General's office is defending. Phone tests in Ray's court. Not good enough, said Attorney Dennis Wilenchik, representing the state GOP. At the very least, he told the judge, Fontes' interest is solely in upholding his interpretation of the law. Therefore, his ultimate objective is both narrowly focused and, of course, is colored by his Democratic background, Wilenchik said. He has no political incentive to pay attention to the specific issues that concern the AZGOP and its members. That interest, the attorney said, is giving Arizona Republicans access to as many candidates as possible for any primary election, including the presidential preference election. The AZGOP also has a strong interest in ensuring that its presidential preference elections are fair to all potential candidates and are perceived as such both by registered Arizona Republicans and others, nor does Wilenchik think Trump's own role in the case, he also is named as a defendant, is sufficient to protect the party's interest. He said Trump can't be counted on to care about anything beyond getting his name on the Arizona ballot. The AZGOP, however, is interested in safeguarding fair and fully participatory Arizona Republican primaries and presidential preference elections for many years beyond the impending 2024 election cycle, Wilenchik wrote. Former President Trump is not situated to make these long-term arguments. Maximum competition sought the state GOP is taking no position in the new filing on who should be the party's presidential nominee. Trump is one of nearly a dozen GOP contenders with some name recognition who want to be president. What the party is interested in, said Wilenchik, is maximum competition and maximum opportunity for registered Republican voters, who are the only ones who can cast ballots in the party's presidential preference election. Should former President Donald J. Trump be enjoined from registering as a candidate for the upcoming presidential preference election? The ASGOP's First Amendment interests in allowing registered Arizona Republicans to choose among a wide range of candidates and to facilitate fair, and apparently fair, Republican 
presidential preference elections will be both immediately impaired and potentially impaired with respect to all such future elections, he wrote. Walenchik criticized Castro for trying to force phone tests to keep Trump off the ballot, saying it would deprive Arizona Republicans of their state constitutional rights. Time equals 400 ms. greater than the relief sought by plaintiff is a restriction on a ZGOP's speech which is content and viewpoint based and demonstrates an effort to intimidate and silence the ASGOPs association and expression, he wrote. Walenchik acknowledged the language of the 14th Amendment. But he wants Reyes to rule. Fontes does not have the authority, under that amendment to keep Trump off the ballot. Castro does not agree. In his 17-page self-filed brief he cites multiple instances of activities and comments by Trump on and around the January 6, 2021 riot in Washington that he said crossed the legal line and make the former president ineligible. Time equals 400 ms. greater than still. Castro conceded Ray's authority to keep Trump off the ballot may not be as clear as all that. He said he views the judiciary as the ultimate decider of Trump's eligibility. But Castro also said it might take more. A congressional finding of liability would certainly aid the judiciary's fact-finding mission, he said. According to his bio, Castro's political career dates back to an unsuccessful bid for county commissioner in 2004 at age 19. He also made attempts to get elected to Congress, now a Texas tax consultant. He filed in March to run for president, loaning his campaign $20 million according to records filed with the Federal Election Commission. This isn't his first legal foray into trying to keep Trump off the ballot. Earlier this month the U.S. Supreme Court, without comment, refused to overturn a ruling by a federal judge in Florida where Castro sought similar relief. But that likely does not preclude his case here, or similar ones filed by other groups in other states, from going forward. A trial before Reyes is set for the end of this month, Howard. Fisher is a veteran journalist who has been reporting since 1970 and covering state politics and the legislature since 1982. Follow him on X, formerly known as Twitter, and threads at, at AZCAP Media or email azcapmedia at gmail.com.in this series Tucson Morning Recap. Get today's top stories updated 10 minutes ago prosecutors won't charge border. Agents who killed Tohono Oodam man updated 10 minutes ago Tucson man arrested in child porn case 26 updates previous next subscribe to stay connected to Tucson. A subscription helps you access more of the local stories that keep you connected to the community. Be the first to know. Time equals 400 ms. greater than get local news delivered to your inbox. Sign up. Asterisk I understand and agree that registration on or use of this site constitutes agreement to its user agreement and privacy policy. Howard Fisher